Wild West Crypto Show over the fence post. I'm Brent Bates. Well, I'll tell you what, this one will be a little bit of a personal uh, note today. I buried my father, who was 91, uh, this week. I tell you what, the one thing that I, I learned from him is grace. And, and what I mean by that is this, is that even though he would catch me doing something I shouldn't have been, he'd give me grace. He'd give me a way out. He'd give me a chance to restore our relationship. He'd give me a chance to earn his love again or earn his trust again or whatever. The thing that seems to be absent in America is just that, grace. You know, we're so quick to get on top of each other, and we're so quick to get on Twitter and talk about, oh, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, and I can't believe what a terrible parent you are because of this, that, or the other thing. And usually it's done because somebody made some comment in 140 characters or something. Certainly not enough for us to really even know the person, know the circumstances, or even fully understand it, but they felt compelled to tell us about it. And so what do we do? We line up down party lines, we line up down some ideology lines, and then we wage war against one another. Totally lacking grace. The problem is, is that without grace, democracy will fail. When we get to the point that we can't show each other grace and the respect that that grace generates for one another and and try and listen to one another, understand each other's point of view, uh, give each other the benefit of the doubt, okay? Give each other a second chance at either earning our trust or or committing ourselves to this issue or that issue correctly, at least in the eyes of the other person. Because guess what? If you don't give grace, you're generally not going to get grace. One of my other favorite characters was John Wayne. And in one of his shows, in fact, one of his last shows, The Shooters, he talks about how that he respected other people, he didn't lay a hand on anybody else, and he demanded the same out of others. Pretty simple code to go by. You know, it's almost kind of like the, uh, you know, love your neighbor as, as, as if you were loving yourself. You know, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. All of those are basically verses in the Bible that talks about giving grace, showing a certain level of respect to one another. Right now, we don't have any grace. Uh, we The country is quickly becoming devoid of grace. And the problem is this, is that if we get to the point that we become devoid of grace, we're going to find ourselves at odds, and it's going to get ugly, and it's going to get ugly quick. I have a word for you people. I come from the rural area. I travel all over the country in the rural areas. Uh, you guys that are rioting in the cities, you better stay in the cities, because if you get out in the country, um, those people will not tolerate that stuff by any stretch of the imagination. And they live in a world where life and death is every day. You know, they have livestock that lives and dies. Uh, you know, they actually harvest their own food. They butcher their own food. They're cut of a totally different cloth than most of your urban dwellers. No, they won't have three degrees in humanities of some variety. Uh, no, they didn't go to Harvard or Princeton or Yale. In fact, half time probably couldn't even spell it. But I have news for you. They're hardworking people that show grace in that rural market that they live in. You know, the problem is, is that we're not showing grace within our cities. And we literally have aligned ourselves in a very tribalistic uh, standard. And we're not showing grace to one another in government, in the judiciary, in our banking industry and in the administration of our government. We've turned into way too autocratic and do not respect other people's views and opinions. If we did, we wouldn't have a lot of the things going on and a lot of the rulings that we have. So here again, my suggestion to all of us is this. Take a little bit of a, a page out of my old man's deal and be able to dispose and, and display grace to one another. Give each other a break. Don't be so quick to comment on Twitter. To tell you the truth, most of the people that are reading your comments on Twitter really don't care what your comments are. You know, I probably spend five, ten minutes a day on social media. I got I got lists of people that want to be Facebook friends or want to be on, on Twitter with me or so on and so forth. And, and I don't really care because that's not the forum with which where I really interact with people because it's very difficult to show grace in social media. 
It's a it's a written format. It's abbreviated. You know, it's heavily altered, uh, and and you have all kinds of people that lose their accounts because they have a certain opinion or whatever. And so I just strongly suggest that we all need to show each other grace because guess what? Our days are numbered. My dad's days were 33,277 on this earth. You have no idea how many days you have on this earth. I have no, how, I have no idea how many days I have on this earth as well. But life would be a whole lot better for all of us if we'd show each other a little bit of grace, a little bit of love, a little bit of understanding. Because without any of that, going to end badly. There's no way around it. So let's give each other some grace and we'll be back next week here on the Wild West Crypto Show uh, with Over the Fence Post.